You can get the free Deseret Bookshelf application from the App Store. Simply tap on the App Store, and then using the upper right hand corner, tap the search box, and enter in the word Deseret or the word Bookshelf. When the search results come up, select Deseret Bookshelf, where you will then be able to access the iPhone app or the iPad app. To install the application, simply click on Free, and then you will be prompted to enter in your Apple ID. To begin, tap the Deseret Bookshelf icon. You will be prompted to log in to your Deseret Bookshelf account. This would be the same account you have on DeseretBook.com. If you do not have an account, you can sign up here on the right hand side using your email address, first name, password, and then sign up. If you do have an account, or if you've recently made a purchase and want to read that ebook, you'll want to use the left hand side to log in. I've entered in my email address, and now I'm going to enter in my password, and then I select the login button. When I do, it says connecting to your account. You'll see that the covers of all your ebooks appear. To begin reading an ebook, you simply tap the cover and it will say preparing your ebook. You will notice the five dots at the bottom of the screen that will load. Once the book is loaded, you'll be given a page number with the total number of pages. To begin reading, you simply use your finger to swipe from right to left. When you're done reading, to remember the page that you were last left on, tap the middle of any screen and you will notice prompts in the bottom as well as in the top two corners will appear. To bookmark a page, simply tap the upper right hand corner and a bookmark ribbon will appear. If you want to remove a bookmark, you simply tap the ribbon again and it will disappear. There's various ways to change the way that you read the Deseret Bookshelf. This little icon right here, a box with lines on it, is the table of contents. That way you can actively select um, which chapter you would like to read or which passage of scripture you would like to read. With this bookmark icon here, it will access all the bookmarks for this particular ebook. When you select it, you will see that all the bookmarks within that particular book will be highlighted. You can simply select any of the ebooks and you'll be taken to that particular bookmark. To close this window, simply tap the middle of any screen and it will disappear. Next, we'll want to focus on changing the way that we read. To do this, you can access the gear icon. When you tap the gear icon, you can change the font size as well as the style of font. You'll also notice here at the bottom, you can change the brightness of the ebook. The magnifying glass that you see here, that's used to search for any of the text within the ebook. Simply tap the magnifying glass and you will notice the keyboard will appear as well as the search box. You can search for a phrase, all of the words within the search categories, or you can search for um, any of the keywords that you put in. For example, within this ebook, since it's lectures on faith, let's search the word Holy Spirit. So I'll type in the, the keywords for Holy Spirit. Then when I'm ready to search, I will hit the search button here. You'll notice that various text will come up with the keyword Holy Spirit. Simply hold your finger on the particular text for a few seconds and then release. You'll see these two blue lines which by holding your finger on them you're able to move the passage of scripture that you would like to highlight. After I've gotten the section that I want to highlight the prompts that appear will be copy, define, note, or highlight. Let's say I want to highlight this particular phrase now that I have it marked correctly. 
I'll tap the option to highlight. You'll see that the highlight marked in pink. To change the highlighted color, tap the highlighted section. And here the prompt to colors or remove the highlight will appear. If I select colors, you'll see that the options yellow, green, blue, pink, and purple are given. I can easily change the color of a highlight by tapping the particular color. Let's say I'm done reading this particular ebook. I'll want to make sure that I bookmark the page so I don't forget where I left off. I'll also want to select the bookshelf icon here to return back to the library of all my ebooks. Let's say you're ready to now purchase an ebook. To do this, come up to the upper right hand corner where you'll see a shopping cart icon. Go ahead and tap the shopping cart icon where Safari, your web browser, will then open. You'll be taken to the Deseret Bookshelf store where you're able to browse for an ebook that you may be interested in. You'll see using, you can either search by category if you don't know what ebooks you would like, such as biography, humor, inspiration, or official church materials. There's also quite a few literary classics, which are all free, including Adventures of Huck Finn, Anne of Green Gables, Common Sense, and Hamlet. Let's say you know the ebook that you are wanting to order, but you don't see it in the list. You can easily tap the white search box and the keyboard will, will appear. You can then search for an ebook you may be interested in. Let's do Increase in Learning. Once you've entered in the title, go ahead and select Go on the keyboard. You'll notice that my search for Increase in Learning, it's the first result. To find out more about this ebook, you can either tap the cover or you can tap the word details. You will then be able to read more information about the particular ebook with the description, as well as also view sample excerpts of the ebook. Let's say you want to now purchase the ebook. To do this, just tap the price. And you will be prompted to log in. Go ahead and enter in the same email address and password you would use in the Deseret Bookshelf account. It's important to note ebooks can only be read within the same Deseret Bookshelf account you use. Once you've entered in your login information, go ahead and select Login. If you've forgotten your password, the link to remember your password can be selected and you will be taken through the process to reset that password. The next screen will come up. I'm asking you for a confirmation that you would actually like to purchase this ebook. You'll notice the price as well as the tax, if applicable, will appear. To confirm the purchase that you would like to purchase this ebook, go ahead and tap purchase. You'll be prompted to enter in your credit card information if you do not have one associated with your account. Once you've processed your credit card payment, you'll receive a confirmation that your ebook has been purchased. To add the ebook to your library, you'll want to go back to the Deseret Bookshelf application. You can either select My Library here, or you can select the Home button on your Apple device. And then just open the Deseret Bookshelf application, come up to the upper right hand corner, and tap the gear icon. When you select this, you'll notice that the prompt to sync ebooks or log out will appear. Tapping the prompt to sync ebooks, will bring in the ebook within your library. As you can see, I am now able to read Hamlet.